Mary at 20. Uh, my parents was against it and my grandparents. She was 20 years old. The four closest people to her were against the marriage, meaning they saw something in the couple showing them they were not ready for that big step. I am now 31 and I'm getting ready to go through a divorce. What's the disagreement though? Well, they said that we was too young and I went to college, I got a degree. Um, I just feel like I didn't have much experience. She didn't have much experience in what? She was the one that chose to get married. Now she feels like she's missed out. I was in love with my husband when we got married, but now I don't like him. They dated for two years before getting married. She loved him then. Now it's 10 years later and she doesn't like him. So it took her 12 years to find this out. What's the disagreement though? The disagreement, um, we just, I think we just grew apart. Okay. So, but you see that. Understand. Okay. I don't understand the point I make that you disagreed with. Oh, that, you know, all the eights and nines and tens are married. At an early age. All, okay. I did, okay. Nothing is absolute. Ladies, we got to stop this. Nothing is absolute. These are generalizations. That's true, Kevin. But, but, but are you saying you're an eight, nine, or a 10? I would consider myself a 10. I was a track star leader of the volleyball so you can kind of say I was the it girl in school but where's your um, picture? what where's your picture oh, I didn't want to show my picture so the lady claims to be the ish she rates herself a 10 but doesn't have a picture in my opinion if she were a 10 she would show herself a 10 is top rank nearly perfect <laughs> oh, that's I obvious find it, I find it okay <laughs> see the thing I, what I don't do often is like women can I've had women call themselves 10s who were fives so uh, i mean opinion is opinion uh, no, is, is no, relevant oh uh, uh, no no see what we, look you can call kevin, yourself i like you I okay like but the, the, and she's saying she likes kevin for what reason she doesn't want him to tell her anything she doesn't want to hear well lady you're going to hear it anyway yeah, hold on but do, if you like me then understand don't over look if you can call yourself a 10 that's fine i don't understand the disagreement i really don't you call yourself a 10 that's fine you're 31 and getting a divorce because you don't like him yeah i fell out right? in love with him i think we just went uh, to okay but ways. do you have any children no thank god uh well <laughs> and you've been with him since how old since i was 18 but we got okay, married well, at 20. all right and what do you think's waiting for you out here mm, new possibilities that's one way to frame it um you know we can probably be the best of friends i just think we outgrew each other that's fine you know? that's fine He's, he's ready for kids. I'm not ready for kids. So her husband wants children. She says she's not ready. Maybe it's best for him to find himself a woman that's willing to make a family with him. I just think they should have spoken about it earlier in their marriage so he would know what was up. And if she knew she didn't want kids from the jump and didn't tell him, she's wrong for that. All right. Um, so I don't really see it's a, a disagreement here. Um, you want to divorce your husband because he's wants kids and you don't want kids? That's fine. She's probably doing him a favor. But for somebody who's been married for nearly half your life, um, do you want? What do you want from a man in this world? Well, a man of character, integrity, someone that I can grow with. What do I you just, want from a man in this world? Love. So she's saying her husband doesn't love her. Why would he marry her and want to have children with her if he didn't? She's leaving him. He's not leaving her. I think she just feels she got married young and feels she missed out on something. She wants to relive life in her 20s. Yeah. I want I want love. I want companion. You now have, you make it. You but, have that. But you make it seem like people can't outgrow each other. Well, I mean, no, you've been no, no, man, no, 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 no. Stop right there. Stop right there. <clears throat> make it seem like a damn thing. I said you had that, and it's your responsibility as a wife to keep it going. And it's also a husband too. Uh 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 uh. It is 
see that thank you do you guys hear this this is the problem that tends to happen in our relationships it's 50 50 instead of 100 did you do your 100 percent best to make sure that your marriage and your relationship lasted yes my husband wanted me to stay home i figured like since i went to school i worked hard for my degree and my career why should i have to give it up she didn't want to stay home she didn't want to have children she wanted to go find a career which is fine but shouldn't all this been talked about before wasting 10 years of marriage together Especially oh, when I don't have any kids. Okay. Ah, so y- your husband wanted you to stay home and so and you wanted to go to work. Yes. Um, My father raised me to so Hold be on, listen, listen, uh, excuse, listen. Then you're giving up a husband for possibilities in the world in your career. Okay. Hope you get what yeah. you want. My daddy told me I'd be just fine. My father said- Her daddy was one of the people telling her she shouldn't get married. She's listening to him now. Why didn't she listen to him 10 years ago? Well, here's the thing. How old is your father? My father is 60. Right. And uh, got news for you. Your dad cannot guarantee that. That's nothing a father can guarantee a child. Her father saying you'll be all right, meaning oh well, life goes on. Well, and I, and I'm just with you. You can say your dad can your dad can tell you whatever, but I'm gonna tell you right now, you're just a woman, just like I'm just a man. You're one person out on the planet, and if you want to deal with any man out here, you're gonna have to meet his needs, especially if you want a man that's higher level than you are. This independent street, this daddy's girl shit ain't gonna play. Well, Kevin, I work. I'm a nurse. Congratulations. Um, that matters. I work not. with a. But listen, I work with a lot of doctors, actually. So what? But See, they, uh, you say that a man don't care about a woman's no, money or career. No, no, And that's no. far from okay, the truth, okay, though. Okay. But that's far from all the right, truth, All right, all right. So you, you're telling me... All right. Ladies, I want you to pay attention. This woman has been married. And she's telling me, as a man who's out here who have clients of these men, you act like you at 31 know better than me at 51. And I'm telling you, men don't care like you think we care. But guess what? You're going to get a chance to test this out on your own. Remember the women I said high value men tend to avoid. And the nurse was in this category. It's not for just to take shots at nurses. It's the personality and the in the mindset that tends to come along. It's independent. Da 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 da. da. All right. But in the end, ma'am, make your choices. But at the end, if you want something with a man, you're going to have to compromise. Oh, I, I agree with you, but you making it seem like that. You can make it seem like so anything. Bad. Make it seem like what? You're just making it seem like, oh, you're so bad. You know, like, especially for, the young, you know, women in my age group that's not married, you know. She was going to say, especially for the young woman, then changed it to women in her age group. It's giving she thinks she can compete with the women who are 10 years younger than her. Man, there's hope. Uh, there's hope. I don't, okay. You're responsible for what you hear. And you're responsible for what you put no, out. No, you're responsible for what you hear. And you you make it seem like women are so... No, I think that a lot of you women just don't listen. You listen with your feelings and you hear what you want to hear. And that's fine. But you're going to get to test all your theories. You got married at 18 or 19. No, I got married at 20. Okay, t- split the difference. You're going to get to test all these theories. In 10 years... We'll see who ends up being closer to accurate. But if you want anything from men, do you ever want children? Um, I don't know. At her age, she only has a couple of years to have a child. Right now, she's looking for a man. She really sounds like she doesn't want to have any children, which is fine. But she shouldn't tell a man she might want to, if she knows she doesn't. I don't really know her thoughts on having a child. It's just my thought. All right. So... Do you even want to? Do you want to be with a be married to a man? Well, of course I do. I believe Why? in love. I believe in but marriage. Marriage, but that's not the purpose of marriage. Marriage is love is not the purpose of marriage. And you marriage already had that. All right, all right, all right. Round and round this goes. Spoiled, petulant children. Just. I want love. I want this. I want that. Women from other countries listen to Western women and think you're insane. 
This woman won early on and is walking away. All right. I hope the lady finds what she's searching for. She might later find out she threw away her diamond and got stuck with a rock or nothing at all. I thank you for watching. See you soon. Billy Blanco.